major concern I had was with security. There was constantly um, people in the building that would be, you know, putting something in the door, the locked door outside to keep it open, and so people were coming in and out that didn't live there. They were work doing construction and left, like, both doors open. Like, everybody walking through, like, didn't have to, you didn't have to swipe in or, you know, use your key, and I was like, I don't think I like this. Especially as a, a young woman in the city who didn't, you know, you want to be like, oh, am I going to have to deal with that? You right. Know? When you're already living in a community with that many other people, you just want to feel some kind of, you know, security, and so that was a big turnoff for me. My mom and I came up and looked at apartments because, of course, my mom came with me. Um, she she would be like, well, you know, you don't want a basement apartment, you don't want like a first floor apartment, you want something higher than that. It was actually the nicest building that we saw, but the area just was not. I didn't want to live there. Pet friendly is one of the hardest apartments to come by yeah. and for a lot of people it's a deal breaker. It's um, been one of the hardest factors in my search. And that was the other problem with one of the places they couldn't show us the unit we would actually be moving into. You wouldn't have rented without seeing your unit. Yes. Yeah. They usually have like one that they present to people. A lot of times you walk in and they have like furniture that looks uncomfortable. They like everything looks uncomfortable to me and so by the time I leave I'm like I wouldn't want to live there. Like that's the one they're showing to people. I feel like there needs to be like color in different places and stuff like that because that'll make, I think it would make people happy. Like you can't have it all be just like white, like sterile, clean environment. I have had a problem at apartment complexes getting somebody over to fix something. A lot of times when you call the, the management company, they're like, oh, well, this person was supposed to get back to you. We're going to schedule this for this time. It would take, you know, half a dozen calls down to the management office before mm -hmm. they did anything about it. I think that having a property management group just, you know, there's a new face every month and you don't know who's coming into your apartment. I'm just one of 500 people. There's no, like, real relationship. A lot of times, apartments, um, to me, they feel very, very sterile. If They usually have carpets, and the carpets are, like, white or beige, you know, and the walls are white. I don't know, it doesn't feel like a home to me. And then I also refused any apartment that had wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, because it's ugly. The apartment complex just creeped me out. It was like, so it had like a common laundry room, but like very dim lighting, like just lots of like dark corners, and it just, it creeped me out when he brought me in there. I don't, I don't like that feeling. I don't like this large cookie cutter apartment building. More oppressive, uh, you know, uh, very cookie cutter kind of a shape. It feels more like this office building than a home. And that's not really where I want to live. There are, there are a thousand one things on the high ceiling. I really want a tanning bed. Like the gym was big. AC, that's top of my list. Um, wood floors are better than carpet. Uh, the light fixtures are really nice. They're very grand. A lot of people don't think crown molding is important, but I think crown molding is important. What's crown molding? I like those little things that make a place like look more adult. Um, dishwasher definitely. We just needed a dishwasher was my major thing. Okay. <laughs> um, Lots of windows and lighting. The entire back wall of the apartment is all one window. That was a plus when we were looking at it. It just seemed really bright and airy. Sunlight is important. Like I just want my place to naturally be lit. The dog you, would you need to keep your dog in the apartment? Is that yeah, uh, too. <laughs> something that you'd want to do? Yeah. <laughs> Access to dog parks and bike paths and uh, recreational areas. There was an apartment situation where everybody's yeah. dog had a communal yeah. area to chill or yeah. a dog friendly yeah. green space. Yeah. Managed calendar, or man managed or sort of a pet calendar. Yeah. Oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. If I could just go right out into my backyard and meet some of my neighbors and have a safe place for him to play, I would totally, you know, if it was between one or two apartments, it would put it right over the edge for me. The laundry room has like it's like college, like they have the cards that you can like refill your money on a card instead of having quarters. So it's, even though it's not in the unit, it's still, it's pretty convenient. Something as simple as having laundry on the premises is a big sell for me. Um, it's like, I want a washer and dryer in the place. So I think I'm done with laundry. Laundry mess. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass. That's like the number one, like, we need to have a washer and dryer. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have cars, so location is very, very important for, to me and it's close to the chateau that I can take to, to school. I like something that has a little bit of personality, and I think that a lot of people like that. I like the unique kind of 
you know, it's nice and modern, and it kind of has a little bit more homey feel than the institutional management complex. There's charm in, in, in that. Yeah, yeah. It's more character, you know. One of the biggest things about, like, having an apartment that you like is being able to paint it. Paint it. Change it. I don't know. Make it, make it my own, I guess.